Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisville's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Out of bounds around the 27-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Makes it out to about the 49. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. Check Mike 12. Mike 12, Mike 12. Blue And the option to the halfback gets six yards. Gain of six on the play. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Tackle around the 26-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the 26-yard line. It's second down. Quick pass. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Louisville could take the lead with this field goal. It's up and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Three down, three down. The back gets three on the carry. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Watch the throw outside. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out.
incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They'll line it up again on third down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Bring him down around the 37 yard line. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. He's on the run. He's tackled at about the 25 yard line. run there as they work the outside. Here's a handoff left side. And he's taken down at the 10-yard line. He fights forward to about the seventh. Second and six. They're at the seven. It's second down. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. Green eight. Run right side. And they make the stop at about the five yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing After him to sit back play, there and make the those throws. The field stands. So the call on the field stands. He makes the PAT. It was a 13-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 7-3. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's under pressure. Throws right, intercepted. Inside the 30. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. Man, he just left like a cat and plucked the ball out of the air. From the 24-yard line, first down. Clemson is up four. Go four! Go. Run, run, run! They go with the run, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. That makes it second and eight. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-3, Clemson. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Mike two, watch two, watch two. Down, blue 80. 
Big play, and it's first and goal. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Touchdown, Tigers. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. So they had their chances to stop him, but in the end, he comes up with a big play. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 24-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Brought down around the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it so. It's second down and about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Watch 44, watch 44. Now, 12, 12. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. He's taken down at about the 47 yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4 2 speed. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Roger, Roger. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Yeah. 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 Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Tackle around the 22-yard line. <laughs> Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Runs right for a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and goal. Down. 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 Down.
Motion, motion, motion. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. Louisville's going to take their first time out of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. No one could break clear, so the QB decided to run it in. You've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands, especially down inside the tent. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 22-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running. Around. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson holds a four-point lead. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Louisville will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Complete, he's out of bounds. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle made at the two yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it first and goal. Mike 12. Mike 12. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, cards. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 36. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Just sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. 
Man wide open, in and out of his hands. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 36-yard line, third down. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. We got a second and 11. Ball on the 19 yard line. Louisville is up by three. And down he goes, right around the 18 yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 17 14, Cardinals. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. They push him out at about the 41. That's good for the four yards. Fourth down. And this one is a beauty. Touchdown. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Louisville holds a field goal lead. They bring the quarterback down. That makes it 70 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. And they make the stop at the 24. That's a gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it, he's in space, and he's taken down around the 47-yard line. Got some open field. Tackled at the 35. He's tackled right around the 24 yard line. Defensively. Mike two. 
It right in his hands. Touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Tackled for a loss. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Roger, Roger. Mike 12, Mike 12. Quarterback, don't get nervous. Get out. Little toss across the middle. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Call it a game of 12, 12 yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. Tight. Cover tight. Cover tight. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Oh. Makes it to the 27. That's a game of 10. That'll make it second and inches. Second and 10. Second and 10. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Mike 12. Mike 12. Get out. Get out. Gets out to around the 15. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Close the fight. Down. Kill, kill. Raider, Raider. And he is drilled at the four. Call it a gain of five yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle made around the three-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Tigers lead 21-17. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And he's level at the three-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. 
An 11 play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Did not get to the first down marker. No gain on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Booming kick. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Louisville has a three-point lead. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 26-yard line, second down. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. Let's go. Zips it to the back. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. First down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. right for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws it away. And here's another third down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Fielded at the 19. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he hauls that one in. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. 
That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Choose the mic. Fires it out. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They didn't let you play. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Tries to fit it in there, but it's picked off. And they make the stop at the 42. A little over a minute in the game. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. It off gets to about the 44 yard line and he gets a yard on the run the Tigers using their third and final timeout and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock the quarterback takes a knee and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team Excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He fires. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Going deep. Finds the junior. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. The spike will stop the clock. So they bring out the kicker to tie this game up. A make will most likely mean overtime, a miss, and well, that's it. The kick is up. He got it! Louisville's gonna use their first time out of the half here. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. He's in trouble. And it's going the other way. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime.
Well, we played an hour and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, start offense. offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great Still way to stall down. out a drive. From the 30 yard line, first down. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Get up. Down. Motion. Get 87. Motion. And he might want it all here and done. This one will fall incomplete. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. He goes out of bounds at the 23. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. Short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. A sack on the play. It's up. And it's good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. From the 25-yard line, first down. Watch two. Down. Two seven. Watch kill, kill. Watch slant. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. What was that? From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Choose the mic. And he's taken down around the 14-yard line. Defense has it, and this one is over. Louisville's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.